Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for September 1st through September 10th. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And we got a couple. All right. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully in deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. We're going to clarify these at the end. I'm doing things differently now. At the end, I'm going to clarify each of these cards with a couple of these. So stay tuned. We're going to get one more of these. Um, now, keep in mind, this reading may not be for you. So if you're in a happily ever after relationship, then probably not. Okay? Um, but let's see what comes up. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Hmm. You're probably looking very attractive at this time. You're probably enjoying life and you're vibrating pretty highly. Okay. But somebody is wearing a mask. Maybe hiding their romantic feelings. That could be you. That could be the other person. But somebody's hiding their feelings. That's what that tells me. Now we're going to get some of these. Your feelings are real. Maybe you don't even know what you're feeling. That could be the case. Maybe you're wearing a mask. Maybe you're hiding. That's probably the case. You may be hiding your feelings. Capricorn, Capricorn, what does Capricorn need to know? You're in control, you're the boss of this situation. You could also be dealing with a father figure. Your father figure could be prominent, okay? Father, grandfather, something like that. This is taking control, taking the lead, being the boss, keeping structure, using your wisdom. There could be a lack of abundance, though. There's a lack of happiness in some situation. It may be time to move on. Oh. Somebody, because nines, there's time to move on from something that's not fulfilling. Maybe you need to take the lead. Because something isn't emotionally fulfilling. It's not. It's not a happily ever after, okay? Not abundant. You could be clinging to the past. You may stay be staying in a situation just for children as well. You could also, because this is children often. Now, this could be a father and this could be the children, just saying. Um, but there's no wish fulfillment there. There's something that's not abundant. Not sure. We're going to get some more cards. Not what you wanted with the Nine of Cups reversed. The memories, memories of the past or memories are going to come up this, this, these 10 days, okay? One phase is ending. One phase, one chapter, one um, prominent time in your life is coming to an end, okay? And this is a major new beginning. It's like one life lesson has been learned and you're about to begin another one. Could have to do with children or a father. I don't know. Becoming a father maybe? Or your father? I'm not sure. Now this is, you know, this is heaven. This is from heaven. So I'm not sure if what this is, but... Um, something... Okay, these are both... Upright, these are both wish fulfillment. Reverse, there's no, this is, whatever's happening is not what you want it to happen. It's not what you want it to happen, okay? You may be discouraged over something, knowing that you have to do something, that you have to take the lead. You may be discouraged. Hands up, hands up. 
ooh, yeah, there's something going on behind the scenes. There's some, some sort of hidden force. This could be around the new moon. When's the new moon? Is that like September 9th or something? September 11th. No. Damn it. I don't, I don't have my calendar switched. When is the new moon? 9th. September 9th. And here we have the 9 up here. So I'm not sure. So right around the 9th of September, something is going to happen that, you know has been cooking for a while. Whatever is happening has been cooking. Okay, September 9th. There's going to be a new beginning. There's, you're gonna, you are going to step over some threshold and start something new. You may feel a little uneasy about this. Whatever it is. This is, you're reluctant, yeah, yeah, you're reluctant to keep, keep walking, keep doing that, whatever it is, but whatever this is, is teamwork and, and working together, you may have to make some compromises, you may have to put in a little bit of effort, extra effort into something, but I think once you get on the other side, once you get over this hump, once you go through this pain, whatever it is, this, whatever, this thing, whatever it is that's going on, that's been cooking, that's going to erupt, whatever it is, okay, something is going to change your life, it is, with the moon card next to the world card, something is going to change your life, it's going to, you know, it looks like you're going to appreciate it, whatever it is, and the, this is a card of appreciation, so it is going to... Seven of Swords, so this is deception. This is deception. It is. This is cheating. This is lies. This is deceit. This is, you know, I don't know, but this could be, this is, this is like hiding. And this is hiding as well. Somebody, someone is really hiding something and this the moon signifies hiding too something is gonna the truth is gonna come out in a situation something you may have been hiding from let me just bring this up a little bit there we go so whatever's happening is divinely guided okay and it is probably going to push you to take control now I don't like I said this could you know whatever it is it may leave you feeling a little discouraged and a little reluctant to take steps forward but in the end it's going to bring you a major a major shift in your life okay it's gonna broaden your horizons and it is going to be successful Okay, I gotta put that down because it bothers me. I'm a, I'm Virgo rising, and anything that is out of order is not okay. Anyway, um, so three of cups reversed. Yeah, there there could have been some cheating, and maybe that cheating gets revealed. So maybe that cheating gets revealed. I don't know. It doesn't this is not gonna resonate with every single person? Okay. But this is like, there's a lack of re reconciliation here. There's a lack of reunion. So, you know, I feel as though there could be something that... Mm, some truth is being revealed. Some, I mean, that is, this is the truth coming out. Realizing... Okay, and this is a third party situation or something that was unhappy, unfulfilling, um, nothing to celebrate. Something is going to happen that makes you discouraged and insecure. I'm sorry to tell you that, but I have to, okay? It's, it's going to bring up those insecurities. And you're going to have to, because the emperor is very strong, you're going to have to find the strength to, to dominate this situation, to be the dominant factor here. To take the lead okay you're gonna have to stand strong you might have to make a serious decision the decision might fall in your lap 
just saying. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, that's what this is. So, you know, and you may feel it. And it is definitely insecure. There's some insecurities here that are going to come to be faced. And when you face your insecurities, that's when a lesson has been learned. So, that's what this is. You guys are going to face an insecurity and a lesson is going to be learned and you're going to move on to the next one. So, that's exactly what this is. But anyway, your intuition probably already knows what this is. Okay? Something is going to be revealed again. This is a secret. This is your intuition telling you, you know, that that something is, is about to happen. And I think you already know what this is deep down. But you may be blocking it, but whatever. I'm here to tell you to trust your intuition at this time. Because it, you already probably know what this is. Whatever this is that's been going on behind the scenes. It's probably really no secret. Okay? It probably isn't really a secret. Even though it's been kept a secret. Okay, the secret might come out, just just saying. Um, yeah, I feel like you are probably going to make a decision. And this is also a card of consequences. So, whatever is hidden isn't always usually hidden forever, okay? Because this is where things have been hidden and the shit comes out here. It's like, there's no more illusion here. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay... So, you know, there could be something right around this new moon, September 9th, that, uh, like I said, make a decision, make a decision, forces you to make a decision. There, there could even be a fight. There could even be a fight. There's This is like criticism. This is feeling like you're being attacked. So you may feel like this is you're walking on eggshells or that this is too much to handle, but you have the ability to take control. You are. You are strong, so just keep that in mind. So this is, whatever this is, there there could be some drama. There could be some pettiness. And whatever it is, again, it is divinely guided. Seven, seven, seven. Sevens are divinely guided. It's a number from heaven. And this is, the star card is, is from heaven, sent from heaven. But this is reversed. So, you know, I don't know if, if whatever is happening is... Is meant it, well. I know that it, whatever is happening is meant to happen to progress you forward. You know, it's part of the script. The, the high priestess comes up when, when there's stuff going on behind the scenes. There's secrets. There's there's um, plans that have already been made way before you even decided to come to be born. You know that are playing out. So. That's what's going on here. I feel like one phase of your life, one lesson, one situation, one insecurity that you have harbored for quite some time is about to be faced. And you are probably not feeling very confident with this. <laughs> okay? You're not feeling very confident. But with the five of, five of coins or five of pentacles reversed, it's the end of difficulty. Even though you may not see it as being the end of difficulty, when you face these insecurities... They are no longer going to be as difficult as they were before because you faced them. So whatever it is, whatever this is, it's going to allow you to come out of the darkness and see the light and feel more comfortable in the end. Okay. So whatever this has been cooking behind the scenes that you know you probably have been waiting for, you know, whatever it is, is, is about to... happen and this could even you know there could be a new offer okay where two becomes three perhaps two becomes three i don't know where that came I'm getting the goosebumps here um or you know maybe there was a third party situation or yeah two be maybe a baby maybe it's a baby maybe it's a you know you take in a parent you know to take care of or um there's a third party situation and it comes to light, you know, there was some cheating going on and the shit comes out, the truth comes out. Whatever this is, I think two becomes three. Okay, two becomes three. Whether it's, could be, because there's hundreds and thousands of people watching this, there's, there's a third, two becomes three. And I think that you're worried about it, whatever it is. And it's going to come out, whatever this is, it's going to come out. It's going to, it's going to come out. And... You know, maybe you're you're feeling you definitely are feeling insecure with it. <laughs> There's an absolute there. That's you, okay. That's you feeling insecure with this, feeling like you may not have enough to offer. You may feel like you're not ready for it. You may feel like you aren't as stable as you want to be. 
Um, you may feel a little uneasy, ungrounded with this revelation, whatever's happening, coming out. You may feel a little ungrounded. Um, here we have not wanting to be held accountable for something, and there's, there's dishonesty here. There is something that is going to be revealed with the moon card, the justice card, the high priestess card. Uh, something is going to happen that changes your life, and it's going to cause, it's going to be like the final push. You know what I mean? And it is going to end up making you very happy in the end. This could be, this is a birth. It's a rebirth. It's a renewal. So I'm not sure what this is, but this is, I mean, maybe it's a birth. I don't know. This could even, I mean, with this card and this card, I'm wondering, I mean, that somebody could even, you know, I hate to say it, but somebody could even pass away. I mean, I have to say that because that's what I keep, I saw it instantly when this card came out. So I, but I didn't say it. So I mean, I don't like to give messages like that. But you never know. You never do know. So live each day as it's today. You know, as it's your last day, because you never know about tomorrow. But anyway, whatever is happening, there is. It is gonna. It is gonna make you happy. It is, and this is a birth. This is a birth. Okay. So. Um, but this is also something new that makes you very bliss. This is happiness. Bliss. The, this is the reward. After struggle, after fear, you know, after perhaps not wanting to accept something. So I feel, you know, this is, uh, there could be some arguments with the Seven of Wands, with the Ten of Cups. I mean, they're both together. These arguments could reveal something that in the long run allows you to start a new chapter in your life, okay? So I believe that there's going to be some sort of truth that comes out about whatever. I know it could be cheating. It could, who knows what, that allows you to start a new path, whether it's cheating or a birth or a death or whatever it is. I mean, I have to tell you what I see. Um, a decision, a, a final, well, because this is final decision is going to be made. It's Something's going to be made final. And in the long run, it's going to bring you happiness and success and victory. But a relationship might end in the meantime because this is the, like, turning away from a relationship. Could be with a uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or that could be you. You know, deciding to be practical, to be responsible. She is also the Earth Mother. She's she is. So you know, I feel as though, you know, this could have to do with motherhood, or becoming a father. So it's mother or father, really here. Mm -hmm. There's also a soulmate connection here. Okay, when you have the king and queen of the same suit, and I mean the fact that they're touching each other, there's a soulmate connection here in which it, things have probably been a little rocky. Things may have been a little stalled. They may have been a little stagnant for a period of time. Maybe there's been some drama, a little bit of bickering back and forth. Somebody's felt uneasy. But I think that whatever... Whatever is happening, whatever revelation that is coming out is probably going to strengthen your foundation. Whatever it is, instead of break it apart. You know, because upright, this is a false foundation. But I think whatever's happening here is going to strengthen your foundation. I don't know. Uh, that's what I see with another person. Could be a, You could be dealing with another earth sign. So it could be a Leo. You have all the signs here. So don't let that freak you out okay I think whatever's happening I think there's going to be some truth that is revealed or some event or some insecurity that you have to face that strengthens your foundation with your partner any in your partner can be any sign okay we're going to clarify these cards if you're single if you are single there's an opportunity for a new beginning here 
And it could be with somebody from your past because we have the Six of Cups, but it also could be somebody new with the Four of Cups. It could be a new offer and you're thinking about taking it, but you're not sure. You're not sure because of the children that you have or they have or something like that. If you are single, you may be only focused on your job at this time and not really putting in effort to love because I see that as well. Wearing a mask, protecting yourself. This guy is very protective as well. So you could be protecting yourself from love, but now you're caught up in love. Maybe you fall in love with somebody and that's a problem. I mean, that's what it looks like. I mean, for single people, that could certainly be the issue. Somebody has fallen in love, and, and now, you know, that's not what they were hoping for. <laughs> okay, so just, just saying. Um, so we're going to clarify these cards now. Attraction. Whatever is happening is going to strengthen a foundation. It is. It is. And it's going to allow you to have a major new beginning in your life, a major new phase. The world card is you're starting a major new phase, and it's a long-term phase. This could be marriage. This could be having a baby. This could be uh, graduation. You know, you went to school for 12 years. You know, this. I'm just saying what it could be. The world card is starting a major phase that is long-term. One phase has ended. Maybe your singlehood. That could be one of them. You know, maybe whatever it is, whatever it is for you, something is ending and a new phase is starting for you, Capricorn, and it's going to make you face your insecurities. Now we're going to clarify. Yeah, attraction, attraction. With the Eight of Cups reversed, you attract romantic love by enjoying this full moment fully. This card is thinking about love, okay, thinking about walking away or thinking about going back to something that you are emotionally connected to, you're attracted to. Thinking about either walking away from somebody you're attracted to or walking towards somebody you're attracted to. Indecisive. You may feel like you're not being logical. You're not very optimistic about this attraction, whatever it is. Reluctant to move on, though. So I think that there's an attraction for some of you, not all of you. Take what resonates in this reading and leave the rest for the next one. Like I said, this is for hundreds and thousands of people. Some of you will resonate with this. Some of you will resonate with this. You know, that's how it goes. Somebody is reluctant to move on from somebody that they are, are very, very attracted to. They're, they just, they, they can't. They can't move on from this person, even though, you know, they may need to, because there could be a third-party situation here. You know, maybe, no, oh, there's that birth again. Um, but this one is reversed. There's, there's, maybe you're feeling, you're feeling like there's, there's no growth. There's just a... Uh, Maybe you feel like you're going to be smothered because this is smothered. You know, I feel like you, you just feel like you're going to be taken advantage of or there's not going to be growth. There's not going to be abundance in this attraction, whatever it is. So you're thinking about walking away, but you're being told to enjoy it. You, you may give not give somebody a chance. So I'm not sure who that's for, but somebody... There, that truth is going to be revealed again, and now we have truth again. So I feel like there's been, there could have been a third party situation here that is absolutely revealed, and the shit hits the fan. Just saying. I mean, I have to show that. I mean, I have to say that. That's what it is. Whew. So yeah, and it could turn out to be a blessing in disguise. And remember, I said this star card is like, that could be you know heaven and death. That could be the de that could be the death of this situation. I mean, this is like a no resurrection card. So I feel like you know some kind of truth could be revealed that in the long run brings happiness to you. At first, it may seem like it's a disaster. Just saying. It could strengthen your foundation with the new person or the old person or even with yourself. But there is some deception. So I think that there is going, there's there's some kind of, uh, 
secret that is absolutely going to come out and it's going to make you feel insecure and you're going to have to face it and make a decision. There's, oh God, so somebody's either lying about love, okay, they're lying about love, they're not in love or something like that. Oh gosh, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, somebody is emotionally closed off. They are. They're not emotionally available. Somebody could have been cheating with a water sign. I'm just telling you. I'm not sure who. Somebody could be in love with a water sign and doesn't want to believe that the other person is in love with the water sign. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lack of emotional openness because of another person. And, you know, if you look at this card, all three of them are wearing a mask. And there's two, you know, there's all three of them are wearing a mask. It's three people. So I do see a third party situation here. There is a third party situation here. And somebody may have been lying about it. Okay. Um saying they weren't in love when they were in love <laughs> you know it could go anyway um but the truth is going to come out trust me it is um somebody's been stuck they've been in limbo and hanging on to something that is deceitful we're gonna, we're gonna Clarify romantic feelings. Now that hangman is sacrificing yourself. It's sacrifice. Sacrificing yourself for somebody that doesn't love you. Is that what's going on? I mean, I'm not this reading will not resonate for everybody. Needing to take them. This is needing to see things from a new perspective. And this is needing to take the mask off. Basically the same thing. Somebody is not emotionally available. Romantic feelings. Turning away from, this is turning away from a family. This is a family feud. Fights, turning away from abundance. You're moving home. And like I said, whatever is happening is going to allow you to start something that's going to lead to a lot more happiness for you. Somebody could be, end up moving because of this truth that is revealed. The mask is could be taken off okay it could be this is wearing the mask blocking the truth in denial there's romantic feelings and somebody's in denial they're deceiving about another person and that's exactly what this is and it looks like you know there could be a new a new uh You know, this is coming. This is coming out of a break, coming out of rest. A new idea, you know, a new thought, a new pro, a new phase. So, you know, I really feel like there's romantic feelings for somebody new. Okay, where it makes you feel alive again. So, perhaps there's a new opportunity after all this bullshit has happened. If you are single. If you are single and you have been uh, lied to and dealt with somebody that was emotionally unavailable and you stayed with it for a really long time, there's an opportunity for a new beginning here with somebody, you know, that could make you really, really happy. You know, this could go so, so, so many ways. But whatever this is, at the very end of all this, there's a revival. There's a, there's a, a like a new life. Okay, a new beginning that brings a lot of bliss and happiness to you. Even though there's going to be kind of like a shit storm before it happens. I mean, that's what I see. It's like there's going to be some kind of upheaval that changes everything for the better. So be prepared. Um, yeah. Whatever is, happen is happening is destined to happen. It's meant to happen. It's bringing you closer to your life's purpose. It's part of your karma. It's part of your destiny. 
Good luck. It's good. It's good. It may not seem like it's good, but it is good. It is good. Whatever this is. And it's it's kind of like it's a blessing in disguise, whatever it is. Right around that new moon. Surrendering to the journey. Release control. Yikes, that's a hard one, Capricorn, isn't it? Considering you're ruled by the devil card, and the devil is all about control. I mean, that's 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 going to be really, really hard to do. Really hard to do for Capricorn. Surrendering to the journey. Release control. That is going to be a toughie. I'm just looking for it. It's time to let go. <laughs> Damn. It's time to let go. All is well. The creator is at your side. Remember I said heaven? Heaven. Who's in heaven? The creator. Okay. I knew it had something to do with him and... It's time to let go, all is well. The creator is at your side. You don't have to do it alone. Your life is guided. This is not the time to try to control the de details of your life. Let it flow. There are times to hold on, but this is the time to completely surrender. Surrender to the greater forces of the universe. Remember I told you there's hidden forces? I, they do this for me all the time. Let go of wanting to control your future. Simply turn your challenges over to the spiritual source. The creator will escort you on your journey. I know it. I knew it. Surrendering is not giving up. You're not yielding to a force outside yourself. You're opening to your soul. By releasing hold, you allow the creative forces of the universe to spiral through you which brings inspiration and direction into your life. Remember I said those insecurities are going to be faced? Sometimes the journey goes a different way than expected. When it does, don't resist. These are times you can see the path, but you don't know where it leads. Not knowing where you're going can act it can activate inspiration, insight, and creative juices. You cannot discover new oceans in distant vistas unless you have the courage to let go of the shore. You don't have to do it all by yourself. Support is around you. Simply open your heart and allow it in. Whatever is happening is meant to happen like I told you. Release control. It's not in your hands. Talk to you later.